Hello science people, I'm going to show you where you can find free illustrations on the internet. I'm a scientific illustrator, my name is Zhang. I have been helping scientists to create these figures for their research publications. Many journals are requesting authors to submit good quality figures along with their manuscript. And I know not every scientist have the budget to hire a scientific illustrator. That is why I've been uploading tutorials on this channel so you guys can make it by yourself. However, I'm also aware you might want to just download the illustration and use it because you don't have the time to design the illustration by yourself and the deadline is very tight. I'll show you the website where you can find free illustrations. They also offer you a license to use them so you will not have copyright problems. You can support me helping scientists by giving me likes on this video and subscribe to my channel. You can follow my social media for my updates. By growing the channel, I can help more scientists and the ad revenue can help me to continue doing this. At the moment, it is not enough, so I need your help. So the first website website is jobamet.com. Yes, this is my own website. Of course, I'm going to promote my own free illustration because this is my channel. You can go to jobamet.com and there's a free illustration page. Please download them as PNG files. They have transparent background so you can easily embed them into your manuscript. I created these illustrations on my live stream. I live stream every Wednesday and after I finish the live stream, I upload the illustration. The topic of the live stream is decided by my viewers. I let all of you vote for the the topics in my YouTube community tab. If you suggest a topic, you might be able to see it on the live stream. Let me know in the comments or send me a contact form. If you want the original files of these illustrations, it is possible. You can subscribe to my Patreon page. You will be able to find the collection of the original vector graphic files. This is a good deal, right? By supporting me in exchange, you can get the original file to work on and customize illustrations that suits your publication the best. Next website, I recommend Command is called BioIcon. They have thousands of illustrations in their database and a lot of them are in Creative Commons license zero. That means you can use them freely, even commercially, without attribution. Not all of them are CC zero, so make sure you check the license that is attached to the illustration and contribute the author accordingly. My favorite part of this database is the lab apparatus. You can find all kinds of lab equipments in this category, for example, the beakers, the cuvette, and so on. These are very handy for making method illustration. They can save you so much time. Another part I really like is the model animal. They have rats, zebrafish, and drosophilia. This also can save you a lot of time because animals are very complicated to draw. If you're looking for medical illustration, I recommend Severe Medical Art. They have over 3,000 illustrations in their database, and they categorize them in different medical disciplines. For example, let's take a look at the cardiology. You can find the heart cross section, cardiovascular system, even the cardiac muscles. And they save all these illustrations in the PowerPoint file, which I believe will be very convenient for you guys because many scientists don't have professional graphic design software. They design most of their graphics in PowerPoint. The illustration from Severe Medical Art falls under the Creative Commons License 4. You can have a look, what they allow you to do, and you have to attribute them in your publication. Once your paper is published, Publish, you can also inform them and they will put you in the Hall of Fame. If you're looking for 3D models, I recommend CG Figure Asset Library. This is created by Joe, who is a researcher in Canada. He has a YouTube channel called CG Figure. He has packed the 3D models he has made throughout the years into this asset library. If you want to use the library, you need to be able to use Blender. If you want to learn how to use it, you can follow the tutorial series by Blender Guru. He has a donut playlist through which you can learn how to use use Blender. It will take a while before you can pick up the software. Once you're familiar with the software, you can go to CG Figure's website, Asset, and then click here, and you can download the library from the Google Drive. Joe make his, oh, Joe make his library open assets. He's very generous. So these are the websites you can go to for free scientific illustrations. If you have more questions, let me know in the comments. Do keep in mind that these illustrations, the copyright still belongs to the artist. If you want to own the copyright of your illustration, it is better to create them by yourself. You can follow my tutorials on the channel and you can check out this video in which I recommend free software that is suitable for creating these figures. I'll see you in the next video.